what's going on YouTube? It's uh, another shaving video. Uh, today, like as I promised before, I'm going to start doing blade reviews that I have 100 uh, pack that I bought off triblade.com for a uh, you know a whole 100 pack of different types of blades. So today I'm going to be doing um, I guess the name of this Laser Ultra. Uh, if you can see that here, Laser Ultra triple coated blades um, they come here just almost like uh, the Astra Superior Platinums um, it's got the it says laser ultra triple coated blade on there and then it's got the numbers three four the sides and that's for when they're doing quality control um, you know they can say what side if anything is messed up on a batch of blades All right so I'm using my Mula RD9 head with my baseline um, handle I'm going to load up my razor here and then I'm also going to be doing through this whole series I'm um, going to stick to sterling soaps so whether I use um, doesn't matter which one but I just want to keep the soap brand the same so today um, I'm going to be using sterling black cherry stuff this smell on the soap or the scent of the soap is amazing if you haven't tried a sterling soap the smells are absolutely r amazing, and their quality and their performance of the of the shaving soap is really good. All right, um, I showered earlier today. This is a night shave. I'm getting gonna start doing my shaves at night so I can get ready for work. But um, I haven't. So I have a. It's been a few hours since I showered. So right now I have a hot towel in the sink. I'm gonna stick it on my face and soften up my beard. I'm gonna do this a couple times just to get them nice and moist and soft. And this is almost scalding hot water, so really hot. And you wanna to try to get it as hot as you can stand it if you're gonna do this. It really helps. Okay, just to let you know before we start, I, I do have some irritation here on this side and this was from uh, a shave last week that I used um, the artist shaving my uh, sandalwood scent and I also had a uh, bad blade that I didn't change out so um, it's going to be a little bit irritating so I'm going to go a little soft on this side but right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, have my soap blooming and my brush blooming, I forgot to say I'm going to be using my my shave revolution badger knot as well. So I'm gonna pour out the uh, blue water in my hand. I'm gonna put it on and get a uh, base layer of soap going. Now I'm gonna pour the water out of here. Squeeze all the water out of my brush, and we're gonna start loading and then build a ladder. That should be enough. You see nice and pasty between the bristles there. I'm gonna go ahead and take all this extra lather off here and go ahead and apply it to my face here. You don't wanna waste this. All right, let's get going. Sure. 
nice and thick yogurt consistency lather. I'm just finished painting it on so it's nice and thick for that first first pass. I like to have my my lathers nice and thick. There we go. You already nine baseline handle, okay. Laser ultra triple coated edges. All right, here we go. <clears throat> First pass with the green. First pass is done. Let's see how this blade did so far here. The one pass my face a little wet here. Okay. I forgot to mention that. Let's see, Friday. So I've, I've got two and a half days of growth on my face because I usually don't shave over the weekend. So hmm. going down with the green, it actually feels really good. This blade actually feels pretty smooth as well. So let's rinse off and try to pass number two. <clears throat> let's see how this blade does. On the second pass, All right? So usually on my uh, second pass, I go across the green this way on my left side, and this way on my right side. So I usually go from my ears to my nose uh, direction on my second pass. There's still quite a bit of hair on my cheeks, even after two passes. I'm still going to go kind of light because I have a ton of irritation on this side over here, but even on my neck, there's still a lot of hair, but we'll see how this third pass does. This blade is very smooth though. No irritation so far. And that's what sometimes people want, you know, a nice smooth blade. Because a lot of people have sensitive skin, so. But we'll give this thing the final verdict after we're done with our shape here.
and do the third shave across the grain, nose to ears, both sides. Okay, let's see. Feel around for some spots that I need to clean up. Around my chin. I know you probably hear my son in the background telling me we need to go to Target. <laughs> so, cheeks are pretty good. It's only just going down and across the grain. Uh, feels really good. I'm only just up against the grain, but I haven't gone there. I'm gonna touch it up. Chin feels good. Underneath here, I'm gonna get some. My neck feels good. Really, no irritation besides the irritation I already have there. Uh, good on the mustache. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out this lather. What's left of my brush? I'm gonna do a cleanup pass. Look at how much extra lather. It's always like that with Sterling. quit that's pretty good I don't want to give myself any more irritation from having to go over that but I'm gonna rinse off and I'll be right back to uh, go over the review of this blade Okay, let's talk about this uh, <clears throat> razor blade. So, like I said again, this is the uh, the Laser Ultra triple coated edges. Okay, um, redefining lifestyle. This is what it says underneath there. Okay, so let's go over the points here. This blade was extremely uh, smooth. wasn't very sharp. Um, I did get a good shave. As you can see, it did take me a long time, even even on my cleanup pass. I'm sorry. Um, I still have a little bit underneath here, but I didn't want to press it anymore and get more irritation than what I already had on my neck. Um, it did provide a good shave. Um, it's really smooth, but you know, in order for me to get as close as I have, you know, it is baby butt smooth pretty much right now. I did have to go over my areas a lot of times and going over an area a lot of times even with an extremely smooth razor blade you're still using a razor blade and you know you're going to eventually cause irritation um, so comparing this to feather is one of the sharpest blades there are which i haven't gotten to that one yet but the feathers up here i would say this blade's probably way down here with sharpness um, as far as smoothness uh, I'd say it's probably pretty high up there. Um, would I suggest these blades? No, not unless, you know, that's all you have, you know, and you need to get the job done and you're just doing a quick shave and you're not really worried about going baby, baby butt smooth. But, um, I, I wouldn't use this blade again. This is a, 
a one-time thing for me, especially with this um, review. Uh, and if some of these blades, um, they feel like they're just a bad batch of a blade, then I might order another one and do a review on it again. But this one I would not, uh, I would not recommend. Um, but you know, that's it's every person's face is different. But you know, you could see how long it took me to finish my shave to get down to where I need to get down to. So, all right, let's finish this up. I'm going to use uh, some Thayer's Witch Hazel. Today I'm going to use Rose Witch Hazel again. And then I'm going to go with uh, my Aqua Velva and Nivea Post Shave Balm. So, this stuff is amazing. Uh, Thayer's, and they have several different ones. And you have to look for the one that says alcohol free. There's a couple, I think there's like three of them that are alcohol free. They might have more than that, but they have the rose, the uh, lavender, and then the cucumber, which uh, I know Nick shaves, he uses the, the cucumber. So is uh, Christopher Bailey, traditional shaving evangelist, which he hasn't really been making videos anymore, but if you watch some of his, his videos from the past, he loves the cucumber. Uh, so is Buster. Pretty much every shaving guy out there. Theirs is really good. Okay. And even from that, I'm getting a little bit of burn from the witch hazel because it did, that razor irritated my skin a little bit. And I know this, this aqua velva ice blue is going to, it's going to sting a little bit. But I like to use it because it's nice and cooling and it refreshes the skin. No, it's not too bad. I can feel it up on my cheeks here, but I think that's just because I, you know, you shave, you pull off some skin, even a light flavor, or light layer, not flavor. <laughs> okay, last thing. As always, Nivea Post Shave Balm Sensitive Skin. Stuff is amazing. Helps uh, with sensitive skin issues. And it's only a couple dollars at, you can get this at Walmart. I know Walgreens, probably CVS sells it, but they sell the smaller one for almost the same price as the big one you can get at Walmart for, you know, four, four or five bucks. It's the same thing with that, uh, with the Aqua Velva. You can get that at Walmart for like three or four dollars. Really good stuff. Okay. So. That's my shave and review on this blade, the uh, Laser Ultra. Um, if you have any comments, questions, leave them down in the section below. Um, I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share my video. I'm gonna keep doing these blade reviews until I run out. I have 99 more blades to go. Once again, thanks for watching. See you soon.